Hey what's up guys my name is Murphy and I hope you are all well it's been a long time I haven't posted any video I was busy with uh, another job anyway today I'm gonna show you Asur movie motion poster it's a very aggressive motion poster I will try to break it down the motion poster and create a new one okay don't waste any time let's jump into the after effect Before we start the work, let me show you some pictures. I have taken some screenshot from this video. And this is the background I have created and also cut some images to PNG format. And the last, the main video, I will show you. Everything is fine, but the blood splash effect, it's a little harder to make it. It's actually 3D model. It's after effect to be but it takes a lot of time. Sometimes we found this type of overlays from stock videos or other places. But I will use actually the same whatever in this video. That means I will copy the blood splash effect. <laughs> Maybe it would not possible to copy the same thing. But definitely I will try to copy 70 to 80%. Okay, let's see. Although I want to work with an image, but it wouldn't work. Alright, let's jump into our main house. First of all, create a new composition. Okay, now double click and import the project file. So I have a video and lots of images. Let me choose two images, one background and one object. Alright, select all three and drag into the timeline. Of these two images, let's start work on this video. There are some extra part. which I will split and delete it. So this is the extra part. Alright. Now I apply a effect which is color key. Apply the effect. Now take a eyedropper tool and then take a sample of this video which is the brightest part i think this is the most brightest part take a sample now increase the color tolerance uh, it's fine now again apply the effect and take a sample with little bright part now gradually increase the tolerance. It looks fine. But when I transfer in the video, the black part is there. It's not vanish. That's why I increase the tolerance a little bit. Now it's totally gone. Some of blood cells that we needed also, but cut off a little bit. But it's okay. Now take a small part by splitting it here. Alright, now on these two layers and off this video layer. Resize those images. Now go to the two views. And all three layers convert to 3D. Now you know the process. All two images a little up to above the screen. And resize it again. Now create a new camera. Then create a null object. And parent with the camera. Rename it to position. 
Now go to the position properties and change the position. First of all, increase the Z amount. Then, then little forward the time indicator. Then decrease the Z amount. Also X Y if needed. Now forward the time indicator 4 second and decrease the position amount very slowly. It's look perfect. When it's done, I own the video layers and reposition it. It's look fine. And the last thing, create an adjustment layer for create a little shake effect. Like this. Alright, up the adjustment layer in third position. Now I apply a effect which is wiggle position. It's give a little expression to the whole video. If you want to change the wiggle speed, you can change the wiggle amount. Alright, so this was the video guys. I hope you like this video. If you have any kinds of question, then comment below in this video. And if you are new in my channel, then do subscribe my channel and also ring the bell icon so you never miss any of my video. And if you have any query, then knock me in Instagram and also follow if you want. So this is the end of this tutorial guys. I hope you like this tutorial. So, Till then, take care. Goodbye.